This year's Silver Circle class does have one retiree tonight. Dave Franzman from KCRG TV in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Dave says 10,000 stories, give or take, is about the number of reporter packages he probably did over his 40-year career. Yes, he remembers film splicing, two-way radios, coins for pay phones to call the station. What didn't change was Dave's love for telling stories to the people living in Iowa's Cedar Valley. Notice about 3D TV is there's a lot of movements like this right towards the camera. When it's closer to fair time here in Clayton County, you'll see swarms of volunteers. Dave Franzman's broadcast career goes nearly 45 years with the majority at KCRG TV9. He shared thousands of stories during his time from warm, personable features involving people helping others to hard hitting events like the Iowa caucuses. Fellow Silver Circle honoree Bruce Owney explains how Dave helped bring TV9 to its full potential. Attracting viewers and as a result, we built ourselves to the point where we are number one in the market and Dave Franzman has been a good solid part of that growth through the years, so this station really owes a lot to it. Some of his most significant and intense coverage involved the flood of 2008 that ruined parts of Cedar Rapids. We'd like to go now again to downtown Cedar Rapids where the situation is getting worse every time we check in. TV 9's Dave Franzman is now there live. Dave? It just happened that we were out taking a tour of some of the flooded areas and we got to call it somebody on 8th Avenue Southwest needed to go. They had been in the ground floor apartment and the water came up. The story that went full circle for Dave was the murder of Michelle Martinko and the 2018 arrest of her killer, Jerry Burns, just days before Dave's retirement. But he couldn't explain why his DNA was found at the crime scene back in 1979. Believe it or not, Dave reported on the Martinko case at the time of the murder. Well, one thing that strikes me is the images that you saw of her singing in the choir, mm -hmm. that was literally in this studio. Dave says one story will always be his favorite. It was in 1986 when he had the opportunity to do what's called wing walking on a biplane, with his only security being a seat belt and a post hooked to wires. I like to ride so much, if they ask me to go again, I'm going to get up there another time. Good, we didn't get enough video, you're going to what? have to get no, up there. No, 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 you got it the first time, I'm not getting up there again, this story's over. KCRG TV9 is proud to celebrate Dave Franzman's induction into the Silver Circle Honor Society. Joining us now from Cedar Rapids, Dave Franzman. Dave, welcome to the Upper Midwest Emmy Silver Circle. Thank you, Diana, for this honor tonight. I'd especially like to thank the National Academy for Television, Arts and Sciences, also, all my friends here at KCRG TV9 in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, all the reporters, photographers, producers, folks behind the scenes that I've worked with over the years. Without all of those folks, none of this would have been possible and I wouldn't be standing here. Uh, you know, a lot of people have told me that uh, it, it's just strange that somebody would spend 40 years at a single television station. Now, it's not obviously the norm these days, and people would uh, often come up to me and say, you know, how did you manage to do that? 40 years at KCRG, another few years elsewhere, almost 45 years in television news. And I'd think about it for a bit and I'd kind of remember that old joke, which is how do you eat an elephant by yourself? Well, the answer is one bite at a time. For me, this career has been one day at a time, even one story at a time. And it's just added up over the years and it's been really a joy and a blessing. Now, I've been retired from on-air television work for a couple of years now, so this was an unexpected honor that uh, I wasn't looking for, but I'm really appreciative to join the list of folks that have been given and inducted into the Silver Circle. Now, again, a lot of people would want to know what sort of advice you might have for other people that are in the business, and I basically tell them, always expect the unexpected. For instance, technology is really going to change. One example I use, the smartphone that just about everybody carries these days, certainly many reporters, photographers, 
all the other folks. Back when I started the business, that was 1974, we couldn't imagine anything like that. We actually carried extra change in our pockets just for pay phones. If you remember those, to call the newsroom and kind of tell them how our story was going without sharing that news with everybody else on two-way radios. So it's been an absolute joy and an honor to do this. For those, again, that are following in the business, I just have a, a little bit of advice here, which is to be true to yourself, to be true to your profession, and it is a profession, not just a job, and to always be honest and have integrity when you go out and do your stories. Now, these days you'll hear a lot of people talk about fake news. When I started, we really didn't have that so much. They didn't call it that. But we heard the same thing from people. They would come up and try to spin us one way or the other to get their preconceived notion of what the news was and to see if we would repeat that. Just don't pay attention to them. Be honest with yourself, have integrity, and you'll do fine. Mm -hmm.